Hello gentlemen, today we're going to be covering the October title update and this update is massive. The game is going to be quite a bit different than what we've been playing and the reason for that is the changes that they've made to defense. That's really the kind of focus I would say of the gameplay changes of this title update. So what I'm going to do is cover the notes. I'll also probably hop into practice mode and show you some of the changes. But if you guys want to read the full patch notes, I will put the link in the description as well as the comment section. So what I'm going to do is just focus on the things that I consider kind of big or important. And the first one will just be slow UI transitions. This does affect everybody. It's not really gameplay related, but uh, they basically just say that, you know, this has been a big focus for them. Uh, some of the changes have gone live to basically make these menus faster. And that's something that, you know, it's a big deal because you don't want to be playing something that's super bloated or sluggish. Uh, so, you know, that's a, a good improvement. I haven't really tested the menus yet, but they already made improvements before the patch. And I assume it's just a little bit better now. Uh, but as for the gameplay changes, I'd say we'll start with the new abilities here. Uh, so we have angry runs, third down threat, linchpin, and dual threat. I have no idea how good these abilities are but you can kind of just read like angry runs as an X factor. Uh, but as you can see, it grants you an extremely high chance to win your first interaction with a defender. That could be good. I really don't know if that's really that important considering how good jukes are. I don't know if I'd want to, um, well, I guess you wouldn't use any AP cause it's X factor, but I don't know. I, that one just doesn't really stick out to me. Third down threat grants your player and improve the chance of winning contested catches on third down while in single coverage. Lynchpin, also an ability, causes a center to bolster the entire offensive line, allowing players to hold blocks for a longer period of time than they normally would. I don't know if this is both pass protection and run blocking. If it's run blocking mainly, I would say that it's kind of the um, it's kind of similar to protected that the quarterback has. But if this does both passing and run blocking this could definitely be a viable ability. I personally like protected this year because people like to send three a lot. And I think protected is very good versus send three. So linchpin might actually be usable. I'll definitely check that one out. And then we have dual threat, which is another X factor. It's going to grant players an extremely high chance to defeat pass blocks while rushing or force catch knockouts while in coverage. So X factors are very hard to judge. Sometimes they're very hard to activate. But overall, that does sound pretty good. It sounds kind of like a KO ability uh, kind of mixed in with edge threat. But we'll see how that one plays out as well. For catching, the only bullet point I want to talk about is this one here, which is tuning to reduce the catch success chance for pass rushers when attempting to catch an errant throw out of sack pass. I'm sure you guys have seen this one plenty of times. It's just, you know, your quarterback's getting sacked. There might be a free rusher that's in a container or something. When your quarterback tries to throw it, what will happen is sometimes that contain will pick you off and you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Um, apparently they've reduced the chances of that happening. And the reason I'm kind of conflicted is defense is already hard enough to play. And if you can't get turnovers like that, it's just like the offense is just way too easy right now. And that was one of the more common ways of getting turnovers. That's really my only complaint, but overall I'm not like super pressed over it. It's just an interesting change. Uh, but moving on to like defense and special teams, this is a pretty big deal here. Tuning to real-time AI adjustment logic, so it will not take effect when the defense is using pass coverage sub-defense personnel. I'm going to go ahead and read the depth note too, because it does definitely elaborate. After hearing your feedback and looking at the online game stats, we have added additional criteria so the defense will now have at least as many defensive linemen and linebackers on the field as the offense has offensive linemen and tight ends in order to activate the benefit of recognizing repeated run plays. For example, a defense aligning in a dime defense versus a one running back in one tight end offensive formation, so that's 11 personnel, will now reflect the defense playing to stop the pass instead of the run. So basically what it's saying here is that if you want AI reading React to work, um, you do need to have matched personnel. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So if you're coming out in like a dollar or a dime against you know a heavy formation like I form close, you're not going to benefit from this AI read and react, which I do think is a solid change. And then we have two more things to talk about from this section. Both are very big. The first one's gonna be this one here. Tuning to quarterback contain logic so only edge rush defenders that are very close to the line of scrimmage will be able to get assigned quarterback contain. 
So basically what this is doing is helping to eliminate the loop blitz. People would kind of, you know, get maybe a slot cornerback and put him on like the outside hip of a defensive end, not even on a line of scrimmage. He would just be kind of back on that hip and it would cause like this weird loop where the defensive end will oftentimes come in free. And I imagine this is what they're trying to do. Like they're trying to fix that. And I've looked at it. The loop blitz definitely is fixed, but at the same time, if you put that slot cornerback in a contain by the defensive end, oftentimes what you're going to see is that the slot cornerback can still come in. So it is fixed in a way, but at the same time, you know, you can still get edge heat by using these quarterback contains. And then the next point is massive. This is going to shake the defensive meta for sure. And it's this one here. Modify the defensive audibles logic so teams can only audible the formations with matching personnel. This is mainly targeting... 3-3 to 3-3 cup. So for those of you who are using that as your defense, it's really kind of dead because what they've done is they've made it so you need a defensive end at one of the outside linebacker positions because technically uh, that formation does have a defensive end at outside linebacker. So if you put your safeties in at 3-3 cub or at 3-3 and audible down, you literally can't. It's not going to be an option. And then if you go ahead and put like an outside linebacker or whatever, at one of the three three spots and try audibling down sure it'll work but what you're going to see in a second when i show you at the end of the video the five man pressure doesn't really work anymore the b gap is patched and the formation overall isn't very good so if you guys want to skip ahead in the video and check that out you definitely can but i'll show you that you can audible down and then if you can by fixing your personnel the blitz isn't very good so people are going to be looking for defense if you guys need something my dime 1-4 defense still works post-patch, so check that out on acemadden.com. We can still B-gap versus certain formations, and overall, the defense is pretty much untouched. So just use code ACE for 15% off, gain access to every single ebook, and then let's go ahead and move on to the other points. All right, so I'm going to get through these last ones pretty quickly, and then we'll get into practice mode. Uh, but the first one's going to be right here. Tuning to pitch lateral accuracy to make it more difficult, risky to perform long-distance laterals while moving in opposite directions. So this is targeting speed option glitchers. So people who would uh, basically take the ball with their quarterback journal, and then they would pitch it while in the air with perfect accuracy every single time. I don't know if it's truly fixed or not. We'll find out soon. But overall, this is a good change. It's very cartoony and like it doesn't really fit the game. Uh, so I'm glad it's fixed if it is truly fixed. And then for blocking, we have very specific formations that they mentioned in this bullet point. You know, they were trying to improve pass blocking versus 4-3 even, 3-4 odd, dollar 3-2, nickel triple, and nickel 3-3 cub. Now, this is really talking about B-gapping as well as loop blitzing because with dollar 3-2 cover two linebacker blitz, like this was about, you know, moving the blitzing linebacker into a loop or into a contain so that you could activate the loop. Meanwhile, you had Mike Blitz Zero, which is more about B-gapping. I just thought I would mention this because when they were making this patch, I assume they were targeting these formations. And then the last thing is uh, the pass coverage section. They are basically talking about match coverage in regards to changes that they've made. It's really mainly against trips formations that they've made all these changes. I'm not going to go through all of them. And I haven't tested any of these to know if match coverage is fixed against trips. But one thing I'll say about match is I highly doubt that it's like fixed to the point where you could just run it straight up right now. But it is nice that they fix it against, you know, something like gun trip side end verticals where, yeah, the slot receiver would just be completely naked every single time. You'd have to make some kind of adjustment to counter that. And hopefully it's fixed. But again, I'm not counting on match being very good right now, but it's nice that they're at least making some small changes already. Okay, so now what I want to do is just show you some of the changes that they've made. So one of the big ones, 3-3 three, three to 3-3 three, three Cub. I have safeties in at linebacker. What we're going to do is test out the audible down to 3-3 cub. If you hit X or square and then D-pad right or left, it doesn't matter. If you look in the bottom left, you're going to see that it's just flickering. It's not actually giving us any option to audible down to 3-3 cub. So that's not going to be an option anymore. And then if you put like, let's say you put an outside linebacker at this position. What you're going to see is that it's no different. It's just going to keep flickering. And the reason for that is if you go to 3-3 three, three Cub, and then let's say we go to Mike Blitz Zero, 
and then we do D pad left twice, you're going to see that that guy is technically a defensive lineman. He is not a linebacker. Because if we do D pad right twice, you're going to see that we have two linebackers and then the other four guys are all defensive linemen. And you can't put a defensive lineman into that outside linebacker position. So effectively, they have killed the audible down the 3-3 three, three cub. And then if you just go ahead and try to you know run like the B gap, for instance, what you're going to see is that it does get picked up now. You will notice that, or at least I have noticed, that the pass block depth of these offensive linemen goes very deep. So like watch the center. Actually, it doesn't happen here, but it's going to happen against a lot of five-man blitzes where basically the linemen will drop super far back, like five to seven yards. I'll actually post the clip right now so you guys can see a better look at it. You're going to see that these offensive linemen drop super far back against certain blitzes. And it's going to be harder to step up in certain cases. And I don't really like that, but I assume they did that to kind of compensate for the B-gap pressure that, you know, this blitz and some other blitzes were creating. And then we'll talk about the loop blitz real quick because I think that's a pretty big change as well. So we'll go to DB Fire 2. You know, you can run DB Fire 2 just baseline press still. Like this is still going to come in pretty nicely. And I'd say dollar is probably going to be the meta formation next if I had to guess. But as for the loop blitz, you know, people would kind of just like contain, bring guys into contains. It doesn't have to be DB Fire 2. This is just how they were doing it. Um, and what was happening is defensive ends were coming in instead of these slot cornerbacks. And that's what I was mentioning earlier. While they have fixed the loop where the defensive ends don't come in anymore, these slot cornerbacks can still come in clean. Like, as you can see, like right here, like actually that guy actually looped in technically, but I think that was just kind of a, a one-off. I'll do it again. You're going to see, um, that's not going to happen all the time. It's really the slot cornerbacks that are going to come in more often. So do it again. As you can see, see that slot cornerback comes in, and that's totally normal. Um, so no more loop from defensive end. That barely ever happens. Uh, it's going to be more about slot cornerback pressure. But yeah, so that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. Let me know what you guys think about the patch in the comment section. I'm really curious if you guys think this is a dub or an L. I overall think it's a dub. I think some of these were necessary changes. The thing that kind of sucks is it does limit what we can do on defense. Like there already wasn't much available to us and now defense just takes a hit and people are kind of sent scrambling. It's going to be more about, you know, some RNG who gets some turnovers and stuff like that. That's not ideal, but at the same time, I wasn't a big fan of the B gapping from three, three cub. I think that was unrealistic. I mean, not that Madden's supposed to be realistic, but I just didn't think that was good for the game. It made too many people very comfortable on defense in regards to like thinking they were nice when honestly they're not. <laughs> so that's why I'm okay with the 3-3 Cub getting patched. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, that's it for the patch notes. I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description as well as the comment section. And I'll see you guys later.